hello guys in this video I am going to talk about user defined exceptions in Python programming language so you must be already knowing about the standard exceptions in Python like uh, your zero division error type error key error etc right so what if um, there is some situation in the program um, like some error is happening and you do not have any standard exception to cover that error right so what we can do there is that we can create our own exceptions right so let's consider a scenario like I am making a game right and in that game there are some levels so what if um, some part of my code makes my level negative you can say right so I consider that negative level is something invalid right so if there is an invalid level then what I want is that I want to raise an error a an invalid level error code um, exception should be raised that is what I want right so how can I do that right so let's see how we can do that um, what you need to do uh, to create your own exception is that you need to create a class like this um, I'm naming my exception as invalid level error so it is like this so one thing to note here is that all the user defined exceptions or you can say any exception in Python programming language um, has to define like a class and that class has to inherit from some base class and that base that base class um, in the most general way is exception so it is the common base class for all the non exit exceptions right so I'm just um, using that as my base class and what I do is um, I define a constructor inside it my init function and it will take my self object and other thing it will take is let's say a message right so I want to pass a message along with my exception which I will like to print right so I just define uh, my own um, variable for my own class which is self dot message is equal to message right so this has created my um, own exception right so this complete part is my own um, you can say user defined exception right but how can I use it um, I have not defined any way of checking if my level is less than one or not right so how to go about doing that um, what you can do is that you can use a raise keyword so let's see a bit about the raise keyword before moving on with that example right so let's consider we are making a division program and in that division program um, the divisor if the divisor is zero then a zero division error must be raised right so what I can do is that let's say a is my divisor and let's say a is zero then if a is zero then I can simply write raise zero division error and I can just pass a simple message as well like can't divide by zero right so what is happening is that a condition is being tested and if that condition is true then I want to simply raise an error like zero division error right so this is a nice way of checking um, this is a nice way of simply calling an error right so what you're doing is that you're checking the condition for that error explicitly and then you're um, raising some error right so what if I run this program so what I get is mm, my zero division error has been raised and it says that I can't divide by zero right so this is how you use the raise function and I think we will be needing this raise function in our levels example as well right so let's say my level is already um, set as minus one by some piece of code and what I want now is that I can just put a try block to check if level is level is less than one or not so if level is less than one then I simply want to raise an exception which is the invalid level error in which I can just pass a message let's say my past message is the invalid level which is um, which is the current invalid level 
so format um, level right so this will um, nicely print which invalid table we are talking about so if this error is raised I want to I want to execute my exception block or the accept block in which uh, it will check for uh, invalid level error and what I can do is that I can define an instance of my class of my exception class here like this followed by a comma then e so e is my instance of this or you can say object of this exception class so what I will do is simply print e dot message right so this looks sufficient so let's run this to understand if it is work, uh, how it works so look at that okay so here I have to just put some curly brackets right okay so look at that um, it prints invalid level is minus one right so it's working fine so I have created my own exception class um, which uh, I am raising only when my level is faulty right so this is how you create your own exceptions in python programming language so if you still have any doubts you can post them in the comment section um, i hope it was clear so that's it from this video thanks for watching